how's it going welcome to the daily grind this morning i got something to show you here in just a few minutes the whole moral of today's vlog is going to be always give somebody the benefit of the doubt don't forget that okay This is how it should be. If you get a pump or stretch, you'll notice whenever we pick up on the carpet and stuff, the tack strip will really be popping. You'll have a good hold on it instead of just going, it'll go, it'll have a really good bite on it, okay? Hear that? Hear that? Hear that? Stuff real good. up and you hear that tat, 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 you know it's got a nice stretch on it okay uh, this is where we was at just the other day okay. remember seeing this in the doorway so we're actually pulling this up and we're gonna redo this entire room with an upgraded carpet I'll get into details shortly alrighty so today uh, we had a huge eye opener. I actually found it out yesterday, but today was a big eye opener. Um, so when we did that job out there, originally I told they had, uh, uh, they sent the roll of carpet in two separate rows, which it messed it up on the cut. So he had to order another room of carpet and me, uh, you know, just been my human nature. I was like, well, he probably ordered that carpet a little bit lower grade to help compensate for uh, the loss of having to order another carpet since they since they sent it in two rows. It messed him up. He had to order another roll of carpet. So I told myself, I told Luke, I was like, man, he probably just uh, went one step down with the quality to help make up for the compensation. Anyway, whenever I got back to the store, I told him about that. I was like, hey, that carpet was a lower was a little bit lower grade carpet. It's like it wasn't as thick as uh, what it was originally, and that's why I had to do this. Okay, I couldn't take some of that existing carpet that we had out there and butt it up to it because it was a little bit thinner. I mean, it's a good carpet, don't get me wrong. He didn't go from the best down to the cheapest. He just one step down on quality, so. I didn't even say nothing. I installed it and went to the shop and I told him about it. That stuff just wasn't as, wasn't as thick as what they had in the other rooms. He's like, oh man, I don't know. I said, I thought you maybe just done that to compensate for uh, taking up the slack on, cause you had to reorder. He's like, no, I don't roll like that. He went and looked at his computer and he said, I must've just hit the wrong button or something. Cause right here I did order a step down from what they originally had. That was the last I heard of it. Yesterday, he told me, he's like, we're gonna go back out there uh, to that house. He told me the name, so I knew who it was. He said, we're gonna go back out there and do that room of carpet. I was like, room of carpet? He goes, yeah, the one that was different. I was like, oh, snap. So he actually took and bought the regular right stuff and put it back in there anyway. So it was a simple mistake. It cost him twice, and it's not cool. I kind of felt bad and felt responsible for it because in all reality, in all reality, I should have told the guy right up front. I should have said, hey, this feels a little different. But like I said, I was just thinking uh, maybe he took this to compensate for money. And that, again, that is on my way of thinking was off. That's why you always got to give somebody. That's what I said at the beginning of this. That's why you always got to give somebody the benefit of the doubt. Don't ever assume the worst about people. I can't stand it when people are always uh, thinking the worst about somebody and assuming the worst out of somebody. And there I caught myself doing it. And look at that. Oh, pew, what a rebuke right in the face. Cost the guy some extra money. Cost me going back out there and looking at that, uh, doing that room again. Anyway, with all that aside, I should not have done that. I should have 
straight up called the store and said, hey, did, is this intentional? Because this is a little different. So learn my lesson on that for sure, okay? Definitely learn my lesson. But also out of the whole thing, we now have this right here, piece of carpet that is latexed up. And I wanna check it out because there was people asking when I did that demonstration back here the other day about uh, uh, the Peak Buster and latex, thermoplastic versus latex or whatever. They was curious about the latex. I didn't uh, give it a chance to bend over. Uh, you can see just a little bit. Right there, you actually can see it peeking over a little bit, and that's with the strength of this other tape on the back as well. So, it don't do what the Peak Buster, that's not too bad. Again, it's got the other tape on the back also supporting it. But I tell you what, excuse me, the more, the more I investigate latex seams, the more I'm liking latex. I may end up switching permanently. We'll find out, okay? I don't know that we'll find out here, but I am definitely going to keep investigating my latex seams. This one here was latex and put together with a traditional iron. You see this? So I want to take a look at this seam. I'm going to break it open and see how it looks, okay? I want to get really close here. I'm actually going to turn my camera around, use the back screen on it, and we're going to take a look at this. We're going to take a look at this really good and... Just see it, just see the latex. Okay, so this right here, this is the same. Let's bend this thing back and check this joker out, okay? Wow. I did this just a little bit earlier out there at the house where I was working. Look at that, man. I like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll hold it still long enough. there that is actually breaking the carpet open look right there i am liking like i said more and more and look at that man that's that's pretty daggum awesome i'll be honest with you i never would have thought latex would be that good as what i've been noticing lately that's tearing the carpet apart trying to open that seam up like that I'm going down. Let's keep looking at it. This is impressive. It's literally, literally tearing the backing of the carpet. So you can actually see it spider webbing out a little bit right there. See that? But when it is, oops, when it's like that and just tear the backing of the carpet apart, that's how it should be right there. Look at that, son. It's literally tearing the backing of the carpet apart. That's impressive. That is super, super impressive. Look at it right there. It's ripping the back apart, man. I love it. Look at there. See that? That's that's a bad spot. Right here. That should not be. It should all look like this. Again, being able and having the opportunity to examine your own work like this is freaking awesome. So I've never been a latex user from you guys. If you have followed me for a long time, you know that when I first started a latex or seam sealing my seams, it was after I started the YouTube channel. So it's only been just a short number of years that I've actually been using seam sealer. Before that, I never did. That's something that I learned through the channel is proper seam sealing. I've never done that. The first one I did, I was super impressed. The first method with the thermoplastic, that's what I stuck with because I was like, man, this is awesome. You can bend a seam backwards and everything like that. And it don't, it, it'll, you know, it does that. I mean, it, it arches. It don't just bleh, and break open like that. So 
been super impressed with that thus far. No doubt about it. It's a good way of sealing your seams up. But recently, I've been using latex because I'm getting into uh, woven goods and stuff like that, which is what you need to use for that type of material is latex. True latex, not acrylic, but actual latex. And the more I use it, the more impressed I'm, I'm getting. I really, really am starting to like the latex. With it done properly, it's looking like it's holding up really good. I wanna get me a good seam together and see if it will actually bow over like this, just like uh, just like the Peak Buster does, okay? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and we'll examine that together as well, okay? Until tomorrow. Oh, anyway, this didn't have a whole lot of actual job footage in this, but I really wanted to check this seam out and share it with you guys just because of the fact of latex, okay? That's what I was wanting to do. Wasn't a whole lot, nothing too exciting on that room of carpet. It's just a redo, so didn't show much there, but hopefully this was worth sticking around for because I myself found that pretty remarkable with the leg text. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in to the daily vlog. Until tomorrow, FBSB's out.